If y'all want a biased, and I mean extremely biased video on why to choose Yale over the other Ivies, please watch this video. Ivy Day happened last week and hopefully this video can be helpful during your college selection process, especially for those who are fortunate enough to get into multiple schools, because the harsh reality is that most of us weren't able to get in and don't have the power of choice. That being said, if you are still grieving, maybe you don't want to watch this video, but I am very much going to have a glass half full perspective. Oh, and I also forgot to introduce myself. Hi, my name is Arnold. I recently graduated Yale. So now that I finished my four year journey there, here are 10 good reasons why I should choose Yale over those other schools, especially some specific ones. The first reason why is because of Yale's financial aid. Now granted, a lot of those other schools also probably have really good financial aid packages, but th this is gonna be very biased. Speaking as a first generation low income student, the financial aid has been extremely tremendous. Financial aid at Yale is need-based, which means depending on how much you and your family makes, Yale will cover it accordingly. Coming from the website directly, Yale meets 100% of demonstrated financial need for all admitted students, regardless of citizenship or their immigration status. And families who have a total gross income of less than $75,000 a year are not expected to contribute financially to their child's education. The website also has a bunch of rough guidelines on how much you are expected to pay depending on your family's income. But as a low-income student, I was blessed enough to have a full ride and there are also a bunch of other resources and grants and outside scholarships that you can use that pretty much go directly into your bank account. The next thing is the people. And of course, before y'all click on the video, I just kind of have to mention that over here. Generally speaking, I think the students at Yale are very fun humorous, personable, humble, smart, but also have their own different personalities and traits. You gotta keep in mind that there are a lot of international students, people from across the country. So for me, who mainly grew up in Connecticut, this was definitely something unique and different. I even met my girlfriend here who I'm still with today and made a lot of friends through my residential college community, classes, extracurriculars, collaborators in the arts. So generally speaking, I think the people here are relatively easygoing, easy to talk to, and for the most part, willing to collaborate and help you out in any way. The next thing are the professors. The professors at Yale are pretty much top notch, like world class, very much experts in their respective fields. They are also extremely personable and for the most part, are always there to offer help, whether it is meeting for office hours and working on assignments, getting a lunch, talking about a paper, anything really. I will say though, some STEM professors don't have the best reputations, but I'm gonna ignore that because we're focusing on the positives here. The next thing is this big umbrella category of Yale's resources. Yale just has an insane amount of resources in general for extracurriculars, academics, pretty much anything. For example, there are free writing tutors that you can use for papers, resumes, also a Yale career guidance website where you can schedule meetings with like a career counselor. For those interested in the arts, there are things called creative performing arts grants where basically the residential college gives you free money to use one of the many theaters at Yale to put up a performance of any kind, whether it's singing, dancing, theater, even making a short film. There are also many opportunities during the summer. For example, after my freshman year, I studied abroad in England for both acting and playwriting for free, and I was able to use those credits for my theater studies major. I also used this thing called the Summer Experience Award, which basically gave me money to do an unpaid internship in film production. I also applied for and received a light fellowship, which is basically a full scholarship to study abroad in any East Asian country to study that language. And a great way to start getting immersed into the resources, classes, and people, definitely do Bulldog Days if you are admitted. Do it, it was an amazing time for me. I can make a separate video on that if you want. The next thing is residential colleges. This is something that Yale constantly boasts about. Basically, Yale has 14 different residential colleges and each undergraduate class is evenly split into these residential colleges. So each college has around 100 kids or so. But now I think the number spiked up a bit. Each college has their own dean, head of college, their own unique traditions, dining hall, gym, music studios, resources, theater. There are events like the Tin Cup where basically all residential colleges compete in this tournament bracket style thing in intramural sports and the winner wins this big trophy. There's a lot of banter back and forth between the colleges. And depending on your community, you can make a really close group of friends. And the best part about it is that you can all intermingle and go to each college. For example, I'm in Pearson College. And if I had a friend in Morse College, I could go to Morse and then through them gain connections with other people through Morse. So in an ideal world, you would all become friends with each other. The next thing is student jobs. I worked many student jobs at Yale that paid at least a minimum wage. And to be honest, the fact that the jobs paid well, give great experience and have many opportunities and are also pretty accessible is just a huge plus. I was able to be a student desk attendant at Payne Whitney Gymnasium, work at my residential college's buttery, which is basically this underground hub where people cook, make food, and have fun and vibe around and study together. I also worked at the library and served as a remote research assistant for several professors. My research related to gene editing, climate change, um, gender inequities, all that stuff. If you want a more detailed video on that, please check it out over here. I don't know if it's in the left or right, but I have that video. The next thing is the beautiful campus and architecture. Enough said. Honestly, just search up Yale online, watch some of my videos, um, ask some friends who went to Yale or visited the campus. Maybe try visiting the campus yourself if possible. But Yale is an old school, but the architecture is pretty timeless. I think they did a great job of balancing both the modern aspects and the more old aspects. And especially during springtime when the courtyards are beautiful, there are like flowers and trees and nature. 
Uh, it's just really beautiful. The next thing are the academics and Yale has a liberal arts curriculum, which means that they embrace the idea of and rather than or. This means that at Yale you can pursue math and science rather than math or science. There are so many different cool classes to take. The language programs at Yale are very in depth and awesome. You could take classes on dance, East Asian film, you name it. We also have this website called Yale Course Table where basically you can see all the classes and they're also ranked based on difficulty, reviews from your peers, etc. The next thing is extracurriculars and at Yale there is literally something for everyone. Every year there's like this huge academic extracurricular fair where you can learn about the different clubs and pretty much everything is accessible for the most part. So if you're really good at dancing, you can further hone those skills or even if you haven't danced at all and if you want to try it out, there are accessible groups as well. You can even start and create your own groups. For example, there weren't many Indonesian students, so around my year we started the Indonesian Yale Association. The next thing relates to the arts and at Yale, I would say for the most part, everyone regardless of what they study, appreciates the arts in some form. Personally, as a theater and performance studies major, I was able to act in many productions, including at the Yale Repertory Theater. Study classes at the Yale School of Drama, learn playwriting and enter my work into like these festivals. And more importantly, every single week, there's always something that I could do. I could always watch a friend's event, whether it was an acapella concert, a dance concert, a theater play, a musical, a sketch comedy skit, a reading of something, musical improv, yes, there's that as well. So I would say in general, regardless of your academic background, Yaleys really appreciate the arts. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any other questions and I'll see you in the next one.